Hi, Auburn. Hi. Nice to see you guys again. Uh, you know, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thought I'd go ahead and make this video first, you know, see if I can get some responses. See if I can maybe get a bet going. Hey, Sticks fan, I, first of all, everyone sub this guy, you know, uh, Auburn fan. Uh, pretty solid guy, link's in the description below. But, um, I got a little bet for you. Um, you know, uh, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna hit you up with a message, see if you like it, and we'll see if we can get something worked out. I got another video coming, I'm working on that right now, but without further ado, let's kick off part one of Auburn Hate Week. Let's go early. What we do? I like driving in my truck. He likes to drive in his truck. Auburn sucks. Auburn sucks. I like driving in my truck. He likes to drive in his truck. You know Auburn, you you hold a special place in my uh, my my hate-filled heart. I gotta be honest. Um, first video I made was a crow video. Yeah, that, most people don't start off their TTC careers with a crow video. I did. Um, in that video for you guys, I said that Cam Newton would eventually be a Heisman candidate, if not the Heisman winner. Ended up winning it. So, I'm relatively knowledgeable about your team, and, you know, my assumptions are usually right, and my assumption here will be, you guys won't beat us. Because, quite frankly, if we play you guys the same way we did back with Cam Newton at williams Bryce Stadium, the same way we played that first game, we win. Home field advantage won that game for you. Now, I'm not going to talk about the... SEC Championship game because goddamn we got shellacked. Now there were several reasons why we got beaten that bad, but and I'm not going to defend it, but we got beaten that bad. But you guys don't have the players, the playmakers to do that again. You don't. You don't. Um, quite frankly, you guys only beat Mississippi State because of a bullshit call by the ref, and I'll say that all day. And even more so, um. That it was that you guys had home field advantage. I mean, that's yet again home field advantage, really imperative in the SEC, which is another reason why we're going to beat you because it's at our home this time. It's at our house, you know. Um, Sandstorm's going to be rocking. Uh, Lattimore's going to be running, and yeah, Auburn. We run this. Um, Auburn runs this. Uh, your reason why we why you guys were going to beat us. And I quote, we don't get Lattimore going till the second half. Auburn will beat us because we don't get Lattimore going till the second half. That's what you're saying. Is that, that That's what I got from your video. And quite frankly, I find that ludicrous. Um, against Vanderbilt, he had more yards in the first half than the second half. Against Navy... He had over 100 yards in the first half. Um, ended up ending up with 250 at 250, but still. Um, I mean, ECU was meh. ECU, we didn't really run the ball that much. You know, I mean, he still ended up with uh, over 100 yards, I think, but we, it wasn't a big running game. I mean, that, that, that reasoning that because we don't get Lattimore going until the second half, which is completely false, I don't know where the fact that fact came from, is strained at best. Now here's what I'll say. Your O line is not that good. Michael Dreyer makes your makes your uh, O line look a lot better than it is. But when you got Melvin Ingram, when you got Clowney, when you got Taylor, when you got Antonio Allen, Blitzen, when you're facing the team that you're facing, nah. Nah. Dreyer might have a good game. I don't think he's gonna get over a hundred yards. Um I don't think he's gonna get over eighty yards. I think he might end up with 70, and that's the honest truth. I mean, you're a running team that we're going to stop the run. That's what we do. Your passing game's going to have a decent day against us. I mean, um, our secondary, while it showed up versus Vandy last week, is sort of lacking. Um, I think that our defense is going to win the game for us this time. I believe that Lattimore will do enough to win. I think uh, Garcia will have a good game. Uh, he's been very inconsistent as of late, but I think the inconsistency will be fixed for this week. 
If not, then Shaw will come in and be just as inconsistent because I personally do not think Shaw is as good as Garcia, but that's just an opinion of mine. But some people don't share it, and that's fine. Um, look, look. Stats wise, you guys are middle of the road in several statistic categories. Um, you're averaging 180 yards passing, which is just slightly above us. You're down about 45 yards in average running yards per game. You're nowhere near us in points per game. You're allowing a ton of points to teams that you shouldn't. Florida Atlantic, for instance, or whatever the fuck you guys played last week. Seriously, you guys almost got beaten by a team that's 0-3 in one of the shittiest conferences in the league. Congratulations. Utah State was shocked that you guys almost lost that game. Are you kidding me? You beat Florida Atlantic and Utah State by, by this much, and you guys think that you can compete with South Carolina? Now, yes, you beat Mississippi State, and I'll always say that, but here's the thing. This is a personal opinion here that many people might disagree with. I think George is better than Mississippi State. I'm being honest. Mississippi State has some good pieces, but they have some issues that I think keep them from being where they were originally ranked to be. The issues being their offense and their defense are not consistent enough. Aaron Murray is a consistent enough quarterback that he will put points on the board every week. I think that if Georgia and Mississippi State played ten times, Georgia would win seven of them. That's just me being honest. Um, now, in all honesty... I want you guys to make a video response to this. I do. Because I've already, I'm have already i already making part two of this week. Which, part two has nothing to do with statistics. It has nothing to do with facts. It's really what Hate Week's about. Which is hate. Not stats. Um, look. I'm not going to knock Auburn. I'm not going to say that, they're, that they were an overrated team when they got ranked. Because they weren't. Clemson had to work to beat them. And Clemson's a good team. I'm not going to knock Clemson either. I mean, as much as many of you South Carolina fans don't want to admit it, Clemson is going to be a tough game. Not going to be our toughest. I still think our toughest will be Arkansas on the road. I think that will be the game that determines whether we go into BCS contention or not. That game will be our... That game's going to be our final destination, basically. It's going to, be, it's going to determine where we go for the rest of the season. That being said, um, Clemson will be a tough game. Um, I think uh, I think if we go if we go into if we go into that game undefeated, which we have a chance, that game might get overlooked by some people. I don't think it will. But when I say some people, I mean some. Uh, South Carolina, you know, forum guys and uh, bloggers, which as of late have been mocking Clemson a lot. Clemson sucks, but they have a good team this year. Let's not knock them. Um, back to what I was saying, though. Auburn. You guys aren't going to win this game. You guys aren't going to put up as many points as you think you are. You guys aren't going to put up enough points to beat us. Because our defense is so good, Melvin Ingram, three touchdowns this year. Um, the man does it all. Interceptions, fumble recoveries, special teams touchdowns. You Georgia fans might know him from the guy that was sprinting down the field, outrunning your entire special teams team. I mean, in all honesty, between him, Clowney, Taylor, Allen... And between Lattimore, Garcia, Alshon Jeffrey, A. Sanders, you know, in our O, in our offense, I don't see you guys beating us. And that's just the honest truth. Not at home, not this year. So uh, go ahead and post those videos. Uh, Sticks fan, I'll send you a message about that bet. And until next time, this is Grim saying peace.